Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to AM Yoga Moves. I'm Anne Marie. That's Shanti. And today we're going to be talking about props. So, what are props? Well, they're basically objects that we use to support our practice. So, when we're doing a posture and we want to make sure we're doing it in the proper way, or if we are injured, or if we're very inflexible and we're finding the posture difficult to execute, props will really come in handy. And I'm going to be integrating sometimes uh, props as we move along um, throughout the weeks and throughout the classes. So I just want you to be familiar with a few of them. You should also know that in certain types of yoga, such as yin yoga, which is uh, a practice that involves keep staying in a posture for longer periods of time, um, and different schools of yoga, such as the Iyengar practice, we're going to be using props almost always during the class, okay? So it has nothing to do with uh, being more advanced or less advanced. You shouldn't be feel ashamed about using of using a prop. They're really useful and they are used uh, throughout uh, your life as a yogi, as a yoga practitioner, <laughs> okay? So the first one I'm gonna show you is the block. If I were to recommend you to buy one prop, this would be it, okay? Um, and I would recommend that you buy two, just because for the standing postures, often you'll need to have one in each hand and it's very useful. And for inversions and a bunch of other stuff. Now these cork blocks tend to go for about $30 a piece, so they're more expensive. So if you're on a budget, don't worry, you can always get like a foam block and they're about $8 uh, a piece on Amazon. You can find them, it's very easy to find. Second prop I'd like to show you is a strap. Now the beauty of the strap is that you can practice shoulder mobility. Uh, you can also use it to tie different parts of the body uh, to make sure that you're maintaining alignment, okay? For example, uh, if you're working on pincha marichiyasana, so inversions, forearm stands, and you wanna make sure that you're not opening your elbows, because some people have a tendency to do that, you can work with a strap, okay? So this can come in quite handy. Another thing is a cushion. So you can use a pillow or if you're really into it, you can buy a meditation cushion like this one. There's a whole bunch on the internet and really pretty and everything like that. But basically it's just to keep your hips elevated. So if you're sitting um, yogi style or Japanese style and you find that you're always rolling back, uh, don't hesitate to use a cushion to sit up to make sure that you're sitting up straight and it's going to help you know, open the chest so that you can breathe easier and make things more enjoyable. So Shanti right now, she is uh, on the bolster. So the bolster is used in a lot of the yin uh, classes and also in the Iyengar type yoga. And um, they serve to really open up the chest area. So you can put it horizontally like so, and then you can just lay back, you know, on the the cushion, bring your head back, put it on a block, and then you can stay there for an extended period of time. And it feels really good. And the last object I'd like to show you is uh, the chair. So the yoga chair, yogi chair basically, is a chair that doesn't have any back on it. And it's used to do a large variety of, uh, of stretches. So uh, who knows, maybe one class I'll be uh, using the chair to show you everything you can do and that can inspire you maybe uh, while you're during the day at the office or working from home, like we're mostly doing for since a while now, uh, you can use the chair to do a bunch of stretching. So that's it for the, the, uh, the, the props. And uh, when I will integrate the props during the classes, do not worry, I will be explaining exactly how to use them. So I just wanted to give you an intro so that you know what they are and what they're for and that you can feel comfortable using them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press like. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you're gonna do it now. <laughs> I'll be releasing one class every week. So this, class, this week's class, Wednesday morning, is always release day for my class. And I hope to see you on the mat. And um, take care. Thanks for watching. Namaste.